everybody welcome back to that chick angel tv it's me angel and i am here with the twins Sai and kai and today's video is sponsored by park lawn mats thank you so much guys i love this mat that i've been using since the twins are now crawling around so i wanted to do a really special video about the things that i feel like every germaphobe parent should have so i'm going to kick this list off with the park lawn mat now, there are many things that I like about the park lawn mat. I love the design that I picked out, which was, I do believe, Hello Bear Jungle. Um, and it's also two sides, so I can switch it up. It's also really soft, so when the, the twins are crawling, I don't have to worry about their knees getting all hurt on the hardwood floors. But the reason why I love it as a germaphobe parent is that it's easy to clean. I can easily take a hot, wet rag and wipe it down if they so happen to get their food smashed into it. Or if we have a play date, I can clean it before and after the play date. Or if there's any poop or pee, anything that I might not want to be on the mat, it's easy to clean off. Whereas those like uh, connecting ABC mats, there's stuff that can get down in the crevice of those. It makes it harder to clean. So this is easy to clean. It's easy to use. If you don't want to leave it out, it's easy to roll up and put into a corner. Or you could just leave it out on the floor and the babies just have a good time on it. Okay, next on my list is a plant-based antibacterial spray. So we use something called Solugard, um, which is a plant-based disinfectant. But I like using this to clean up um, any areas that they're in because I don't have to worry about toxic fumes with them. So I clean their toys with it. I can clean this mat with it, things in their nursery. So that's a huge benefit. Next on my list are wipes. I carry two different types of wipes. I carry the antibacterial wet ones, which I don't use all that often because I don't like to use a bunch of antibacterial stuff on the babies, um, but sometimes you just have to. And the other ones I use are handy wipes by Revelation. Um, and these are have aloe and vitamin E in it, so I use these mostly on me. Like if I've been out and about and I wanna keep my hands clean before dealing with the babies, I use these wipes. Something else that I always keep on me is tissues. Um, my husband is big on not touching surfaces that are in a public area, like handles, and like if you're going in and out of a public bathroom. So he's he advises to always keep tissue in your pocket so that if you need to open up something, open up a door that hundreds of other people are using during the day, keep some tissue, just a little pack of tissue on you so that you don't have to worry about getting everybody else's germs on you and then passing those germs to the baby. Now my husband is really big on this more than me. He's all about 91% proof alcohol. Now we ran out, he usually keeps it in a spray bottle so he can spray whatever he needs to, you know, I guess disinfect, I guess you would say. So he uses this on cuts. He uses this when he cuts his hair, when he cuts little Marcus's his hair. So he says, don't get the 70% proof, get the 91% proof because it cleans better. And he's like, he feels like things get cleaner if it burns. And last but not least, I love the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray, or as my son would say, hand sanitizer, um, because you can just spray it into anyone's hand that wants to deal with the babies. I usually use the wet wipes first, like say for instance, we're not near a bathroom and somebody wants to hold my baby. And you know, they haven't washed their hands and God knows when. I use the hand candy wipes, handy candy wipes, and then I spray their hands. And it's not a real strong scent. It does have a scent to it, but it's not too overwhelming. And then they can, you know, hold the baby. Now obviously my son has a package in his hands. So hopefully it's not too dirty. Both of them. You know, it doesn't matter how much you try to keep your babies from germs, they're going to get them, and it does help their immune system by being exposed to some germs and some bacteria, but you also want to keep them safe and not expose them to too much. So this is my list of the things that I think every germaphobe parent should have. And again, a special thank you to Parkline. Their mats are really amazing. They have a lot of different sizes, a lot of different designs, and because they're so sweet, they gave me a coupon code that you all can use that chick angel if you look down in the description box below you'll see a link to their website along with the coupon code so check them out these mats are really great even for me 
my knees aren't as good as they used to be so it's a lot easier for me to get down on this mat than it is for me to get down on my hardwood floor so check park law mats out let me know of what things you use if you're a germaphobe parent to keep the nastiness and the dirt away from your babies i know some people don't care about that but me and my husband we do we do leave your suggestions of products below also, please like, subscribe, and share this video. All right, I'll continue this week with some other videos, some daily vlogs, some other product reviews, and some Ask Angel. All right, I'll check you guys later. Say bye, guys. Say bye-bye. You gonna say bye? Come on. Say bye-bye. Oh, he wants to eat. <laughs> oh, I need to get some stuff for my baby's gums. They have been acting cranky, I think, because they're teething.